What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with another action figure news update. And it's been a little while since I dropped one of these, but I decided now is the perfect timing because we've got some things to talk about that I probably should have discussed sooner rather than later, but I wanted to make sure I had everything together before I dropped this video. And so you guys already know how these videos work. Without wasting any time, go ahead and drop a like for your boy, as that always motivates me to bring you guys this content subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or you're new here and let's go ahead and get right into it starting with the first figure on the list now starting things off on a high i figured this would be the perfect way to begin the video since we've already discussed this already we finally have images of the sh figure arts tanjiro and they doubted us man they doubted us the figma and buzzmod collectors doubted us but undoubtedly this looks so much better than both of those yo look at that almost seamless transition between the shoulder all the way down to the sleeve of the jacket it looks so good so good man the face plates look very clean they look just like Tanjiro walked right out of the anime. I love how they have the three different pieces connected for the stomach. The legs are definitely going to articulate so much better. Ah, oh, man, this is it. This is it, Tamashi Nations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I feel like this line's going to sell. I said this before, and I truly mean it. I feel like this Demon Slayer line is going to go crazy. And I know a lot of people don't like Build-A-Figure pieces, but I do hope that Tanjiro kind of serves as the Naruto or Luffy of the line, meaning with other figures like Inosuke, Zenitsu, even characters all the way down to Rengoku and Akaza, we get extra face plates for Tanjiro because he's made a ton of expressions. And it'd be dope to get those for other figures as well, such as like a comedic Zenitsu face that comes with Nezuko in any kind of thing, man. But all in all, so far, this looks good. I'm sold. I hope that it comes with at least four or five face plates. Um, obviously, he's going to come with several sets of hands. More than likely, he's going to come with the box that he wears on his back. Otherwise, Nezuko is going to come with it. And then I hope that he comes with a water slashing effect or a flame slashing effect. We got to have the effects, the breathing techniques are something that's just very important when it comes to Demon Slayer. And Tamashi Nations knows this, so hopefully they'll give us what we want and not make it to where we have to buy certain effect pieces that they've released in the past that are pretty difficult to get your hands on if you missed out on them. So, um, yeah, overall, I'm excited for this, man. I sold all my Buzz Mods. I sold all my, uh, my uh, Figmas. So this is it. This is going to be my primary line here, and I'm really excited for this. Hopefully, once it goes up for pre-order, we'll get the other characters as well. So next up, going into territory that people probably don't really care about, I figured I'd go ahead and get this out of the way. Tamashi Nations did announce that they are going to be making another SH figure arts Captain Marvel, and it makes sense since the movie just dropped. But based on how bad those tickets are selling and how little people seem to be interested in the movie, I don't really expect this figure to go anywhere. Like the others, I do believe actually sold, but this one just doesn't really look all that good, man. That faceplate looks extremely off. I am not digging that at all. Not that I was going to buy it anyway, but it just it doesn't really look good. It doesn't look like Brie Larson, and I don't care for the shine in the hair either. Now, granted, it could look completely different once the official promo images come out, but this right here, I'm not interested in. I'm just throwing this tidbit in the video for the people that might be. Hopefully, they'll throw in some dope accessories and a flight stand that might sell people, but for the time being, and probably it's going to stay that way, I'm not going to be picking this one up. Now moving on to something that was completely unexpected, Tamashi Nations did also announce that they are going to be making Kaiju number 8 figures, and I feel like this is the perfect time. They're kind of doing exactly what they did with Hell's Paradise. I believe that the anime of this series is set to air in January, February of 2024. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but it just seems like the perfect time for them to do this uh, because I'm pretty sure this figure is probably going to come out between March and May uh, because the pre-order is set to go up on November 21st. So it's going to be coming out within the next six seven months i know for a fact that's just usually how they operate and i gotta say the figure looks good doesn't look like it has a whole lot going on they're really going to need some effect pieces for figures like this 
this that just look very simplistic because something like this might not sell everyone. Now again, I'm going to be picking this one up just because I want to review it. I'm probably going to love it. I'm definitely going to love the anime. So I'm excited for it. Um, I'm loving the facial expressions they have going on here. I love how they added the comedic face at the bottom, the more serious face in the bottom middle where he's kind of looking to the side. And it looks like the expressions are going to be more so what sells this figure. I don't see it coming with a whole lot of hands or anything. But yes, Tamashi Nations, if you're watching, please include effect pieces like i know you guys have released effect sets just throw like one or two of those effect pieces in there with the figures i truly feel like it will help sell these even more um hopefully this figure sells out and this line continues but we'll see once it goes up for pre-order time will tell everything now on to what I am the most excited about in terms of Tamashi Nation's news. They have finally given us some more information regarding the SH Figure Arts Naruto line. And basically what they told us is that they're going to be doing a live stream on the date that you see listed in the photo above. And I believe, ironically enough, this is going to be the same day that Naruto Storm Collections drops for the PS5 and other consoles. Now... This isn't about video games, so I'm not going to get into that. But I do believe, based on the Naruto image we have, they're going to be giving us some more information on Naruto characters based on the popularity poll that was done earlier this year because they said that they were going to be following the trend of giving us the more popular characters. Now, if you remember, the top three were Sakura, which that was a troll, of course. We already got a Sakura figure, so I'm not really expecting that. Unless they give us Kid Sakura, which that'd be dope to complete my guinea team but then uh, we also have Itachi and Minato and with the way that Tamashi Nations has drastically improved on their products especially regarding the Naruto line I would really love to see an updated Itachi and updated Minato those would just be absolutely sick so hopefully they showcase something like that if they decide to showcase anything at all uh, but I'm expecting some information I definitely want to hear something about what to expect next because Obito is going to be dropping this month. I believe Kurama Link Mode Naruto is dropping within the next couple of months. And other than that, we don't know what else we're going to be getting. So it's time for Tamashi Nations to drop some more Naruto news. This line is selling like hotcakes. It's doing what it's supposed to. So there's no need for them to continue keeping us in the dark. These things need to start releasing like Dragon Ball figures. And I mean ASAP because this line is just doing so well. And whatever they decide to do next, I'm excited for it. And I'm sure you guys are as well. Now transitioning over to another action figure company that's not nearly as good as Tamashi Nations but sometimes manages to make some decent figures, Figma finally gave us a colored prototype of the Figma Hell's Paradise Gabimaru. And I gotta be honest, it looks like it's pretty good, but I have some issues here. A lot of the parts in this figure are reused parts from the Demon Slayer line and that's where my issues begin because with some of those figures, I didn't have any issues, but with some of those figures, I had parts falling off and all kinds of QC issues that I just wasn't a fan of. And the number one thing that I'm worried about looking at this Gabi Maru is where the elbows are. Now, I'm not sure if you guys picked up their Demon Slayer figures, but I remember when I had gotten Zenitsu, his elbow joints were designed the exact same as this Gabi Maru, and it was falling off like crazy the arms would not stay pegged in even if i just slightly bent the elbow it would fall off the hinge so many times to the point it got annoying and i had to mod it to even make it work and still it was a bit of a problem but that's something i really hope doesn't happen here now they showcased an image of this gabi maru a while ago in a pretty crazy dynamic pose and that looks sick but the problem with that is figma will show off their figures in poses that you can get them into but you have to go through all kinds of crazy trials and tribulations to make it happen parts falling off losing parts dropping parts it's just sometimes it's more of a hassle than it's even worth in the end and not to say that this figure is going to turn out bad i'm crossing my fingers hoping that it's going to be a great release because for one he's going to come with some really dope flame effects that alone is going to sell me and the fact that i really enjoy the sh figure arts so i want to see what figma does but i'm not expecting it to be better either way now that we've got this painted prototype i'm expecting more information soon and as soon as we get that i will be bringing it to you guys 
Now, following up on some information that I gave you guys in one of my last action figure news slash pre-order update videos, here we have a full image promo shot of the Figma Chainsaw Man Makima. And I gotta say, it doesn't look bad, but something looks off. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. And I'm not gonna say it looks bad, but there's just something that just doesn't look right. And if you guys see it, feel free to tell me in the comments. I do think that the hair should be a little bit more red, but that's the only issue I can spot. Other than that, I'm really liking the proportions and everything. The hips definitely don't lie on this figure, and that's that's what sold me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But um, I don't know, man. Something just doesn't look Right, and maybe I'm tripping. I, I don't know, but I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. This is the first and only image that we've gotten of her so far, but since it did showcase in a uh, action figure booklet somewhere in Japan, I'm expecting more images to start floating around pretty soon. Maybe it'll end up looking better. Um, I hope so. I'm not going to say this looks bad, but I would like to see this in more dynamic poses at different angles. I just really want to see what this figure has to offer. And I'm kind of curious what they're going to throw in in terms of accessories as well, just because we haven't really seen much from Makima in the anime. Or are they going to go into full spoiler territory and kind of showcase some stuff from the manga? Which I'm not going to have a problem with that, but I know a lot of anime onlys are going to be completely confused. But it looks good. I'm definitely going to get it. Again, I think that the hair should be a little bit more red, but that's the only issue that I can point out. I'm loving what they did with the legs. Um, I don't like how big the crotch piece looks. It's kind of giving it that diaper look, but the fact that it doesn't have those freaking slits in it is enough to make me happy. As long as they don't go back and add those, I am perfectly fine with this. It's not like I'm going to expect the most articulation out of it anyway, just because Figma really lacks in the articulation department from time to time. But as long as I can get it in some kind of dynamic poses, I'm going to be okay because... At some point, Tamashii Nations is going to announce their version, so that's all I really need. But for now, be on the lookout for more information regarding this figure as well. And just like that, there you have it. Another action figure news slash pre-order update video. And I got to be honest, I'm pretty excited for everything that was discussed in this video other than the Captain Marvel. I'm going to be buying everything on this list. I'm going to be reviewing everything on this list because all these figures look pretty good, man. I don't have high expectations for the Figmas, but at this point, I kind of know what to expect from them unless they turn out to be more disappointing than I'm expecting. Then that's where the problem is going to come in. And of of course i'll discuss all of that once we get to the reviews but the uh figures that i didn't give you pre-order updates for i am still going to be dropping another video to let you guys know when they go off for pre-order now one thing i'm expecting regarding the tanjiro because i know that the kaiju number eight figure is going up for pre-order on november 21st i think tanjiro is probably going to be the same as well as the captain marvel because for whatever reason tamashi nations loves to put their pre-orders up in bulk making it extremely difficult for us to get those maybe i'll make a video on that one day uh, it's a pain in the ass but it is something i'm expecting i do hope that i'm wrong hopefully tanjiro will go up by himself uh but we'll have to see only time will tell but overall i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep all my activity outside of youtube hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye